Hi there, Leo and Leo Rising. This is Kimberly Knox KK, your astrologer. This is your general forecast for the month of December. We're wrapping up an amazing year and we are in the midst of an amazing Sagittarius new moon. Okay, so it's a fire sign like you, a fire sign lighting you up and lighting great areas of your life. We've got a just wrapping up this dynamic year of the fire monkey. Okay, yes, a lot's been going on this year. It's pushing us forward in great ways. The Sagittarius energy is like coming, you're just coming out of the dark. And yes, Scorpio energy is the dark side. Scorpio energy is this twist between committing deeply with something and letting something go. So there is this there's this mixed emotion, deep emotion regarding all of that. And now, you know, we've really, we've got to go forward with some enthusiasm, some positiveness, and really looking for the forward to the future, being around people that inspire us to push us forward. That is what this Sag Moon is all about. Sagittarius is about expanding our mind, getting a broader experience. And where is that happening for you? Leo, this happening in your fifth house. Fifth house is all about your creative self-expression. It's about your children. It's about um, it's about romance and fun. So this new moon is about encasing fun and opportunity into what you're doing, and uh, allowing that to uh, to enrich. Also, it's about fitness. That's the fifth house. Fitness and and fun and working out and uh, it's like so it's activity in that respect so we've got power days coming up we've got where the action is happening that's where mars is and we've got where venus is giving you the goodies really neat things coming up of course the action has been going on in your i just want to just hold this up the action has been going on in your seventh house of other people um seventh house of your relationships and that's where the energy is and that's where the action is. So that's potentially, maybe you've been getting into uh, little arguments with your uh, significant other or, you know, it's just really about getting out there and doing more, it's energy. But wherever Mars is, there can be accidents and there can be, uh, a, you know, certain amount of aggressiveness. It's, it's about assertiveness in that way, but it can turn into little arguments just depending on, on what's happening. But definitely it's it's a great way because it's pushing you out into the social realms mercury is going to be leaving sagittarius and your fifth house tomorrow um and it's going into capricorn capricorn is your sixth house of health and work and uh everyday life and so you're going to be you're going your mind and, and it's your whole focus is your thought process and that's where mercury is going to be going mercury is also going to be retrograde this month december the 19th through january the 8th when mercury goes retrograde and this will be in your sixth house so something's going on around your your health your fitness routine your um something around the job place where you're getting more information you need more information involved perhaps there's you know some type of illness that you've got to uh, recover from perhaps there's something going on in the workforce where you're regrouping you're getting new information capricorn is really success and accomplishment oriented so that's important there uh and we're going to get that aha moment right before the new moon in your sixth house which is at the end of the month so that's important as well so this, I love Mercury retrogrades. It brings us the information that we need, what we've been waiting on. There is no mystery with the universe it, it, and nature. It, it delivers what we need. Three times a year, Mercury goes retrograde. And uh, so this is the, we're kind of adjusting some new things before uh, the end of the year and the start of, <clears throat> and the start of the, the new year where we've got Capricorn energy every year and this Capricorn energy sets us in a new path. You're working hard, Leo, because it's your sixth house that uh, it's, you know, you gotta take some time off now and have some fun because once when the sun uh, goes into your sixth house, we're all, we're focused on more of the details. It's the Virgo house, so it's work, it's effort, it's um, it's adjusting to uh, to new routines and health. 
Venus. Venus has been in the sector for uh, for quite a while, and um, it is now going to be leaving and going into your relationship zone. So Venus, that's good news here for all relationships, for for partnerships, for client relationships, one on one. That's what the seventh house is. Any one on one relationship, and that's going to bring a favor and light to your 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 relationships to any partnerships and to the clients that you're dealing with that's really great news mars has been there mars is going to be leaving that area and going into the eighth house of deepening connections with others gaining uh, money that you need if you're raising money for something uh getting funds that you need um for, from other people, perhaps you're making more money, perhaps your partner is making more money because this is partnership uh, this is partnership funds or the money that you get from other people. So <clears throat> let's look now. You've got Jupiter for the first time in 12 years in your third house, revving up everything that has to do with social media, YouTube videos, doing talks and lectures, getting information. Uh, all of this is picking up, all of this is expanding and right now today of the last two days because mars is applying to a trine here that we have uh this is a really great easy flow for you so all the work that you're doing and you have been doing and in information getting out to the public is is uh taking you in good ways into the future where you want to go your rulership is the sun so like cancer who's the moon you are you are definitely affected by the new moons more uh, and any movements that the sun makes in that regard. We have on December the, let's see, hold on. <laughs> so December the 7th, we've got the first quarter moon and uh, first quarter is when we're taking a step out. This is like the energy of Cancer. We take a step out based on the seeds that we planted around this new moon that happened two days ago. Uh, the moon's in Capricorn now, so now is a time when we're like pushing the business side of a serious accomplishment. And then through the weekend, we're going to be having the moon in Aquarius, which is really great for socializing and, and, and that. Uh, <clears throat> every single week I do uh, the weekly KK report. It comes out on Monday, so you can take the notes that you have here. You can check against them. I've been using astrology and business for so long, especially with anyone who's in sales. It's important to know what's going on uh, for because you're dealing with clients. The first quarter is probably going to unravel a little bit more on the 8th and 9th because the moon is in Aries around that time. And then on December the 10th, this is an important day for all of us, but especially Sun rule Leo and Leo Risings because the Sun is meeting with Saturn. That can be a little bit uh, tiring. It's a serious sign, but it's serious to say, okay, where do I want to plant my intentions to go forward? So this is in your fifth house. Fifth house has to do with relationships. If you've just been dating someone on and off and you're not really sure if this is the right thing, well, Saturn's holding you to finding a relationship that is long lasting. And then if it's regarding your uh, something you know, around your children, you're having to put more responsibility around your children at this time. Perhaps you also need to be uh, careful uh, because you could get pregnant when Saturn is in the fifth house if you're not taking precautions. Saturn gives us responsibility in an area and rewards us for the efforts that we take. It's like the school teacher. Sun and moon come together, new, planting new seeds there. If you've been working on your own projects, creative projects, and Leo uh, are immensely creative, this is when you are planting a new seed for the entire year, how you want this to unfold, about where you're going uh, in big ways. So that's a serious type of aspect. We have the full moon then coming up on the 13th, which is the uh, which is going to be reflected in your 11th house. These are these are nice houses here. I like this. So the seeds that you planted in your 11th house. This is new seeds revolving around friendships, around long-term goals that you have, and you're going to see it bloom in this area of your life. So. There will be a full moon. When we see a full moon, those are the results. These are the results that we're getting and things have come full bloom. And then 
we are uh, we're releasing so that we can move forward so you're gonna get the whole big spotlight over there and maybe it's regarding your long-term goals maybe it's the money that you're getting from your career because um, that's that's the uh, the house that represents that your your cash flow from uh, what you're doing out there in the world that's the tenth house and of course you just had the last uh, the last full moon there so something big is going on for you in that area so let's keep going here because uh, the holidays are going to be tremendous this year with the energy going on and um, Mars so Mercury is going retrograde let's say it's going to Mercury retrograde Mercury retrograde is going to be in your sixth house uh, again we're getting information we're getting information about things that we need to make adjustments for things you've been waiting on perhaps it's regarding the work uh, something going on in your work life or something going on with your health that you need to make adjustments for Pluto's been there since 2008 really helping you to transform your own health and make adjustments that you need Leo's are pretty good about uh, being responsible with their health even though they like to have a good time and live it up so you may be getting some notations on where you need to get caught up in that area. So the 21st, we've got the sun moving into Capricorn. So that means fun's over, Leo. <laughs> the fifth house, sun moves out of the fifth house into the sixth. Because it's time to go to work. It's time to get organized and detailed. And, uh, you know, that's only a few days before Christmas. But you... Um, or, or Hanukkah, which is the exact same day this year, and uh, we've got we've got Venus so positive around that time that it's just going to be tremendous, honestly, for you socially, which I just love. So please have a really great holiday and uh, and really loving that. And you've also we've also got Jupiter opposing Uranus, so this is like big information stuff for you. Uh, you know you're you are you're having all this expansion around what you want to get out there to the world and this knowledge base that you have reaching out to uh to, to and i thank all of my clients from around uh around the world just being able to reach out and that's the beauty of social media the beauty of youtube videos uh so the 28th, that's the day right before the new moon, uh, which is going to be in your sixth house sector. This is serious work time for Leos, uh, but we're getting, uh, we're getting a bit of information that we need kind of the day before that. So it kind of sets the tone. We'll know what's going on around this time because from the 19th to the 28th, some big information is going to be coming. Make sure you get your shopping done before the 19th uh, so you can just kind of relax and that would be very nice and uh yeah make sure you get your health taken care of because you know next month we've got um of course you've got the new moon in your sixth house so you're whatever information that you're getting you're setting up some new goals there the full moon will be in your 12th house so it's gonna show you next month kind of how well you've been doing all right leo so let's take a look at your hearts here and we're gonna pull one for you for an affirmation I want to find myself easily acting upon the promptings of my intuition and conscious uh, inner knowing. So this is about tapping into your tapping into your wisdom, tapping into this uh, this time of uh, this inner knowing. And where do we get that? We get that from solid. Do we get that from meditation? We get that from uh, just going for a walk, and all of a sudden we're enlightened with thoughts. So uh, here's some really great, uh, I, I always want to give you a little bit of uh, knowledge on the crystals and on the oils because those are really fun to kind of stay into. I diffuse a lot of oils and uh, depending on how I'm feeling or what the occasion is. But cinnamon is really a great oil. It's warming to the body, it's soothing, it's uplifting to the mind and it's, it helps to ease nervous exhaustion. That's really big for not only Sagittarius because you got your hands in a lot but it's also big for this time of the year and geranium is another great oil for Sagittarian energy the stones and crystals so uh, sujulite uh, it's a relatively newer crystal it's kind of similar to amethyst 
and bringing you uh, back to your center, guiding you through meditation. It's a purple Jupiter type of a stone. Uh, smoky quartz, it rules the hips and the liver, and those are Sagittarius areas. So the liver, everybody needs to keep their liver cleaned out. There's, there's nothing better for the liver and for enhancing blood quality than a delicious green smoothie. You know that I have videos on there regarding that. So. You know, take advantage of that and um, you know because we like to have fun during the holidays so you uh, loading up on uh, refined carbs and sugar that kind of just takes a toll on the body so topaz topaz another great sag stone truth seeking knowledge connecting to your inner wisdom and amethyst bringing you back to balance and, and you know balancing those scattered energy and amethyst is a really quite a strong spiritual stone Thank you, Leos. Okay, so again, reach out to me. This is just a general forecast. I can help you with an incredible 10 point plan to really change and redirect your life into 2017 uh, to take you into personal coaching. There's many different ways to do that, but uh, definitely looking at your own personal chart gives you this exceptional personal awareness, which is invaluable to uh, knowing yourself at a deeper level and enhancing your life in many ways. Have a fabulous holiday and reach out to me on Instagram too for daily uh, you know, yeah, messages and inspirations and be sure to watch my weekly videos and you'll be, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll get the notifications on, on the way, straight away. So have a fabulous uh, holiday.